We're here to announce the successful integration of the Textron Systems uh, Centurion Control and Collaboration Technologies uh, along with the Textron Aviation Scorpion Jet. A Centurion is uh, Textron Systems' next generation technology uh, related to command and control of any unmanned platform. That's multi-domain, multi-vehicle, multi-platform. To facilitate the man-on-man -man teaming demonstration with Scorpion Jet, we install the Centurion control into the Scorpion jet itself, set up a Centurion ground control station, quickly trained a pilot, and the next day we took off, did a handoff from the ground station to the pilot and the aircraft. And match their speed. We performed some unmanned systems missions and simultaneously to flying the aircraft. Because of the intuitive nature of the Scorpion and uh, Centurion system, I was able to successfully task uh, two individual UASs. We can go into clashes. While in flight, while that pilot was taking control of his own Scorpion jet, he also then took positive control at LOI 4 or level of interoperability 4 of both of these platforms. He was able to change airspeed, altitude, heading. He also was able to create his own mission plan or mission route uh, to create a surveillance survey, one for each platform. Uh, created them on the fly while flying the, the, the jet sim simultaneously. Those two products together uh, form a new capability for our customers uh, called manned unmanned teaming. The main benefit of manned unmanned teaming is the ability to keep that manned aspect at a safe distance out of the way and saving them to perform more critical functions while the unmanned asset performs the dull, dirty, and dangerous work. Now the pilot has the ability to not just control his own sensor and his own capabilities on the Scorpion jet, he can now take direct control of any unmanned asset within his radio link range. To get this proof of concept done was to, to operate within that live virtual constructive environment where we mixed uh, live Scorpion flying with virtual uh, UASs uh, and constructive sensors. Once fleet units have the ability to take a uh, unmanned system and control it from uh, right now from a ground launch, uh, but in the future perhaps even from a self-launch, uh, is going to be transformational to what you can accomplish uh, in a tactical size aircraft. It's never been done before and uh, we've demonstrated that it can be done and we're looking forward to, to finding out what's next. By putting these two systems together, we demonstrated the ready integration of off-the-shelf technology. It takes our experience from the last few decades of unmanned aircraft, command and control, adds in our new surface vessel control, as well as some of our engineers' experience with ground vehicles and subsurface vehicles to provide a new enhanced capability for uh, efficient unmanned vehicle command and control. The logical next step for us at this point would be to move into controlling actual unmanned aerial systems and then in the future self-launching them from our own platform before we control them.